Hey guys, Doc from the Gold Hog, and today I'm here to talk to you about our new raw pater. Okay, for years we've sold concentrates. We've sold dredge concentrates. It's not a big part of our business, but I've done it because people have enjoyed them. They keep asking for them, so we do sell it. But this year we're switching over, and I'm switching over to a product that I call raw pater, and I'm going to explain it, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is here just in a second. A couple of quick rules, though. Rule number one. Before you order, watch this video, learn what it is, and read the website. Rule number two, if you're focused on return on investment, don't order these concentrates. You're never going to get your money back when you buy concentrates. Yes, there's gold in it, and I'll show you the gold, but just be realistic. These are, these are for fun, these are for learning, and for education. Rule number three, I think I'm on, uh, make sure you understand what fine gold is. There's gold that's not even visible to the human eye in this. It's extremely fine. Some of it's 50, 100, even 200 mesh gold. And you have to be able to work that. So many people don't understand what really fine gold looks like. It may take a loop or a microscope or a magnifying glass to see it. And the final rule is, is don't throw away what you pan off. I want you to look at it. I want you to learn from it. I want you to look at the river rocks, the round river rocks. I want you to look and identify gems. I want you to look at the black sand. I want you to take that black sand and I want you to put it under a magnifying glass or a loop or even a microscope. Look at all the tiny, tiny gemstones that are in there. Really learn from this material. So anyways, let me go ahead and explain exactly what this pater is. It's a mixture. We take one cup of crushed ore, so we take hard rock quartz that's been crushed. We put one cup in. The next thing we do is we take our dredge concentrates. We put one cup of dredge concentrates in. Then we take excavated soil, excavated from a couple sites we have in the southeast. It's excavated straight out of the ground. It's not touched, and we put about three and a half quarts of that. So you're just under a gallon, per se, because um, it ships well that way. That's the bag, and I'll show you the bag um, of the material here coming up. But that's what the mixture is. And because we do it that way, it's real consistent. And we just put raw pater in. Who knows what would be in there gold-wise. But because we have the crushed ore and we have the dredge concentrates, almost every bag is dead on. It's right about a quarter of a gram. Some's a little bit less, some's a little bit more. There's no way to tell. We do not control the gold content in this. We do not know. We do not search it. We do not work it. So it's kind of cool. Also, gems. I try and make sure at least that there's one decent gem inside of the bag, but also search all the little stones. You'll find garnets, a lot of amethyst. We have a lot of amethyst, some fluorite, sometimes some emeralds, and a few other crazy things. Pyrite, too. Watch out for the pyrite. People always wonder what that is. So anyways, let me go ahead and I'll show you. I'm going to pan out some for you, and I'll show you that real quick. This one cold out this morning. This one's actually got condensation on it. But this is actually a bag of material. It's almost a full gallon of raw pater. Alright, so here's a sample of this of this raw pay. Now we do not screen it. We do take out large rocks. That's the largest rock typically you'll see in it. Uh, but we don't touch it. We just leave it just like it is. So this is this raw nasty pay. But I want you to watch this water. And you're going to see what happens. This water is going to get really nasty. Now you should do this just a little small handful at a time. But you can see what happens to that water. You want to clean your rocks well. You will find gems in here. And I try and make sure, I try and make sure that I put at least, you get one decent gem inside there. But you need to check every single rock. You can see the gold in there. And there's going to be really fine stuff in there too. So you have to be able to find and pan really fine gold. Now the other thing is, is don't discard this material that you're panning off. What I want you to do is, after you pan initially for the gold, I want you to save that material. I want you to look at the black sand. I want you to look at every single rock because you will find gems. We find a lot of amethyst, we find a lot of garnet, we find pyrite. Uh, there's all different kinds of little gems that we find in our area. So you need to check every single rock. We do find some not good quality, but fair quality emeralds, really not cuttable. So we do find uh, some fluoride as well too, which is kind of uh, purple and green. We stumble onto that some. 
So you need to go through every single rock. But what I really like people to do is I really like you to study the black sand. Take that black sand, put it under a loop, put it under a microscope, look at it real quick carefully, and you'll see tiny, tiny, tiny gems inside of that. You'll see little amethysts and you'll see little garnets. So really study the material that comes off of here. Again, this is almost a gallon of material, so it's pretty cool. You can actually use it for testing a unit um, for a cleanup system, but it's nasty stuff. It's fun stuff, it's fun to do. Yield on it almost every single bag because we do this consistently with the dredge concentrates, the crushed ore, and the raw pay. You're almost right at about a quarter of a gram in each bag, but you gotta be able to pan fine, fine gold. Dock of the Gold Hog, thanks for stopping in.